Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you a landscape model I did of an area called Grimshjall. It is a mountain range slash volcano in the middle of the Vatnajökull glacier in the middle of Iceland basically. And it's an active volcano in the biggest glacier in the Europe. And we regularly have volcano eruptions in this volcano. And I want to show you this printing. So let's have a look after, after the intro. So this painting is maybe somewhat different from my normal paintings. Uh, most of the area is just glacier and a small mountain range. Over here is the, the Grimsfjall mountain and, and here is the volcano eruption location. It has been erupting every five to three years uh, over a very long time. So it's a very active volcano. And when it erupts, we get a lot of ice melting, and normally we have quite big floods in the in the area underneath. So it's a quite dramatic event when we have these eruptions. Um, so I want to print out this area uh, to. And one of my friends in the search and rescue teams, he was asking me if I could print out this area, and I want to do it for him. It's uh, not not my normal uh, landscape though because it's basically just white paint but it has the 3D landscape nevertheless and then the cliffs in the mountains and it's actually quite high up in the up in the glacier and it's a very dramatic landscape. You can go by snowmobiles or trucks up to this uh, mountain and there are huts in this area that you can stay at and one of my friends in the rescue team were at one time staying in this hut uh, when this volcano erupted and they had to leave in the middle of the night because ash and, and, and lava was spewing out of the mountain and hitting the ground all over the place so everything was covered in ash and they had to basically go as fast as possible away from the area. Uh, they were okay though, but it was quite dramatic to see their, their photos of uh, when they were driving away, having the volcano eruption in the background. So, uh, because when the eruption happens under the ice, it is very dramatic when it comes out because of ash and it has to break through the ice and, and it melts a lot of ice and there was uh, always a flood with the uh, volcano activity. So in the in the outskirts of the glacier, we had, had a big flood going down and usually it takes away some roads and, and bridges. So it's uh, usually a dramatic event. But uh, I want to show you this landscape nevertheless and, and I have a time-lapse of the paint process that we're going to look at. And then I'm going to show you it a little bit in more detail.
So, like I said, it's quite different from my normal landscape, but this is basically the mountain range, and, and here's a volcano eruption area that is uh, created a lake here. And uh, uh, soon after one eruption, we were going with the rescue team in this area to 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 do some training, and we went discover. We went on a trip from this area to the hut that's here, and. At one day we drove to this area here and walked, walked to the lake and some of the guys took a swim in the lake because it was still warm water in it and there was an island in the middle of it and and they took a swim in the volcanic water <laughs> but it was still warm we went to the island and danced around and <laughs> and came back and the, the temperature of the water was like in a good swimming pool so it was quite fun to see those guys going in the volcanic crater uh, swimming in the in the lava filled water <laughs> so it was quite amazing but uh, it was uh, it was quite funny because they went swimming in in the lake and to this island and then some week later some scientists came in the area and they had a boat with them and they used their boat to go to the island and they took some soil samples or something and they thought they were the first one to go to this island and then we told them that they, they weren't the first one because we had already had some guys swimming out to the island <laughs> So that was quite fun, but um, otherwise this area is just a, a big cliff and there's glacier all over and, and this whole area is a lake with an ice sheet and when we have eruptions or geothermal activity the, the water in the, in the area rises and at some point it goes out in this direction and then the ice sheet uh, uh, goes down and when this is recorded there is actually a flood going on when the water is going out and the ice sheet is going down by by 20 or 30 meters down because of the water is going going out so it's a it's a flood situation but not so serious at, at the moment of this recording but uh, we have that every few years that we have those floods it's always interesting to be in this area and, and, and we go a lot in the search and rescue team to the huts in the in the area here so this was my video on, on this landscape in Grimsfjall and, and Grimsvatn is a lake in the in the area and this is maybe not a normal landscape model <laughs> it's mostly ice but I want to show you nevertheless because there's a lot of things going on in the area underneath the ice because of geothermal activity and volcano activity so it's quite interesting and normally there are a lot of scientists going in this area all, all year around to do some scientific measurements of of materials coming out from the volcano and, and in the ice so it's quite common for some people to be there but I thank you for watching this video I hope you subscribe to my channel and I give this video a thumbs up if you like it and, and thumbs down if you don't like it and please leave a comment tell me why <laughs> I love to hear your comments but for now I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one